You see, there is one big issue on the web. Uh, you know that I'm expanding the Nature Gong on the web as much as I can, also organizing worldwide seminars now. And what I see is this, is that uh, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess in the sense that, uh, uh, you know, for spirituality and uh, energy things, uh, people try to approach this thing in a very intellectual way. So they read things, they try to get it. Unfortunately, by reading, <laughs> we will not <laughs> experience certain things, so we don't get it. Uh, we just fantasize about possibilities and, and the channels and do this and the other things. It's a shame because this is causing that, first of all, people stop there. Other people are interested. They maybe watch someone else's video on YouTube or whatever, who's teaching certain things because he did some researches. So maybe he started a path with somebody who was just practicing certain structures that were purely external. Like, for instance, I would like to talk about the Chembao structure. This, most people know, it's the most, you know, <laughs> famous, I guess, on the web, one of the most famous on the web. And um, I had one student the other day coming to me and saying, yes, we're going to do actually this thing together now. I said, hang on a minute, it's going to be different. Because on the second level of Ne Qigong, called Yang Qigong, yes, we use this structure. But then we do a certain visualization to develop certain sensations that fill up the body with this something, mysterious something called Qi, which is going to become a practical thing for us. But, you know, people stay in this posture for 20 minutes. I don't know how effective it can be to actually just stay like this and, you know, do nothing about it. Because I, I was reported by uh, this student, who's actually doing the second level now, uh, this thing of just practicing, <laughs> he was saying to me, I was very tired of standing like this 20 minutes without doing anything. And then I saw a Facebook group that, you know, I joined the Facebook groups because, you know, I wanted to expand the awareness about Ne Qigong. But honestly speaking, I posted only twice in there and I was banned. <laughs> Once I shared the conversation I had with Shifu Constantino Valente, which I think was very interesting for everybody, interested in this to, into this topic of Qi, understanding the difference. Another time when I was showing the exercise, maybe you saw it, where the arm is not bent even if we apply strong pressure to it. Why I'm saying this? Because in these Facebook groups that honestly I don't frequent that much now, I'm get, getting away from them, people engage into discussions and people give suggestions to other people. There are lots of teachers outside, but very few people are actually who have an experience of what they're talking about. And that's a shame because we miss and we lose traditions, we lose methods that can bring very high results only because we are just watching a youtube video and somebody is doing something like that maybe have <laughs> he has a big a big uh, followers uh, so like thousands thousands of people are following this thing or maybe it's moving in a fancy way like very soft all this kind of stuff but the body is empty inside so <laughs> it becomes like they are dancing we had this conversation with Shifu once. Yeah, it's like they are dancing because nothing is actually is inside happening. And that's a big issue. It's a shame. People stay in this posture, Chen Bao, hugging the tree, and some other Chinese names that I honestly I ignore because I don't research things about Qi. I don't look for other things. I was lucky to find, to find this method and I'm just practicing every day. I keep on practicing, I build the knowledge on my experiences, no fairy tales. But you know, people standing like this, maybe giving up after a certain months because no results are happening. So what we do in the Yan Qigong, for instance, it's the second level of the Ne Qigong system, is building the structure, using certain visualization to develop certain sensations that at a certain point will become irrelevant because you can stay like this and you can recall quickly that sensation of fullness in the body, which is going to develop over time with practice. So something practical. And then on this structure, we're going to perform four exercises. Micro orbit, great orbit, all these kind of things, but also other things. But the, the body and the structure is strong, is strong yet flexible, is full. So it's a shame that <laughs> It's like a message is getting out on the web 
and people are just going to the surface or into the a nice shape of things or uh, <laughs> the pleasantness of the, of the practice or this kind of thing. And only a few people are actually getting to the point. Uh, the reason why we do it on the second level is because on the first level called Xishu and Shangong, we create the right foundation for the body. We create an healthy body, open, the benedians are unlocked, we start to become aware of the body, which is not something <laughs> that is at the beginning because we are quite disconnected. And then we move on into this thing called Yan Qi Gong, which I don't want to discuss the meaning of the term Yang and Ying, because they become concepts. You can go anywhere else and just read about these things. I prefer to experience and then, you know, ask the teacher for verifications based on experience. This is the method that I share with my students. This is the kind of approach that I want to bring out of skepticism and a scientific approach to the practice, which allows you to be the one to collect the knowledge about how your thing is working. <music>